Stop me if you've heard this one before. Star free agent goes to the Jets, has bad seasons, then leaves the Jets, and has great seasons. What is up Jets fans and welcome back to Jets News, your number one source for all things Jets. My name is Will and today I've crafted a three-point argument as to why the Jets absolutely cannot let Jamison Crowder walk this year in free agency. Now I've keep been hearing a lot of rumors that they should, and I'm here to dispel those rumors with facts and knowledge. So without further ado, let's get into it. Argument number one is Jamison Crowder's current production. It's a fact that he's been the most productive Jets receiver on the team by far since he's joined it. He went for 833 yards two years ago after playing a full 16 games. And in only 12 games this year, he went for 699 yards. So he could have been a 1,000-yard receiver this year, maybe. Either way, he's trending upwards. Crowder was Sam Darnold's only real consistent weapon during his tenure. And honestly, why would we let a consistent weapon like that go? We have, whether it be Justin Fields or Zach Young in the draft, we could have Watson or we could have Sam Donald again. Any way you slice it, the number one key to building a successful quarterback is building around him successfully. So why would we let the only consistent wide receiver threat that the Jets have right now go in free agency? It just makes no sense to me. Argument number two is Jamison Crowder's locker room presence and building a culture. He is a seasoned vet who has been around the league for a while and knows the ins and outs of it. Any way you slice it, whether we draft a quarterback or not, we're going to have a lot of young guys coming in the building. Fresh, green guys who don't really know what they're doing. Crowder could take them under his wing and develop them into true NFL superstars. After all, that's what good cultures do. That's what good teams do. My number three argument and my final argument is that the Jets have the cap space to re-sign Crowder. Currently, we have about $68 million in cap space, which is third most in the league. And Crowder's asking price is around $10 million. Now, you may be thinking, oh, that's a real steep price. We don't want to pay too much for an aging wide receiver. Well, honestly, Robbie Anderson, I know he's not aging, but still, we thought Robbie Anderson's asking price was too much at around $10 million a year again. And he went to Carolina. And we all agreed that that was a mistake by Joe Douglas. So why would we make the same mistake twice with Crowder? We, we see what happens when we let consistent wide receivers go. Sam Donald had no one to turn to in the passing game. No one could get open. So why would we get rid of the one guy who could consistently get open? It makes no sense to me, and I hope I've persuaded you too. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you really were convinced. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and leave in the comments whether you agree or disagree with me. Alright, above all guys, stay safe, and go Jets!